hey, septic, it's awesome. But there will be a day when it ain't. Wonderful. We're back to business. Let's have fun. Yep. What you see there and what you just witnessed is actually a septic system that is in the failing state. What's different about this septic system, unlike many all over Northern Virginia, is that they actually have an option to connect to the public sewer system. Whew. That right there. And that's exactly what we did. Let me show you what we did. All septic systems are gonna have similar setups. You're gonna have a sewer that runs your wastewater to typically a septic tank. That septic tank is gonna do its thing in processing your wastewater which will then send your septic waste over to a drain field and your drain field will handle the rest. That's generally how things work, but not always, just most of the time. But you get the gist of it. That being said, if the septic system starts failing, you can either A, replace it, or B, modify it in order to go to, like I showed you earlier, the public sewer system. And this is really how it works. The septic tank being in this area and the drain field being in that area, we're just gonna go ahead and abandon it. Collapse it, sorry, bump it down, crush it, fill it up, collapse it, level it out, turn it into beautiful grass. But we won't do that without grabbing that sewer line and rerouting it to a new grinder station, which it in itself will take place of the septic tank. Inside of it, there's gonna be a very powerful pump. That pump is gonna grab your waste, turn it into liquefaction, and then from there, send it out front but how might you ask well we have a nice and nifty little pipe which is this one right here it gets connected to the pump inside that chamber so in order to get this pipe out to the front which i showed you that path earlier you can either do it one of two ways digging the whole thing up which is that for all of that or two directional bore now that that's a directional bore head that's what helps us get pipes from a to z with minimal to no excavation really just two holes where we enter the ground and where we exit the ground and then we pull the pipe right in that place that bad boy has plenty of rods that allow for water to be shot inside that water makes it all the way to the tip the tip shoots water and then we go ahead and steer the drill in any direction that we want not terribly aggressively but just enough to make it possible to get from a to b which is what allowed us to get that pipe from the open hole i showed you earlier all throughout this alleyway up to this point this being too hard of a turn so it required us to take our drill over there shoot it under that sidewalk under this front yard continue pulling back the pipe and then repositioning that drill once again right here and shooting into the ground down and under under this retention wall where we had a hole waiting for us right there which would connect to a pipe for the public main right there so in other words minimal excavation in comparison to a trenching with no room a lot of destruction a lot of rehabilitation tree trunks in the way rocks in the way just everything in the way but not a problem as long as we get the combination help of excavation trenches directional boring and a lot of skill to get everything in the ground and that's really the gist of it Obviously, there's a lot more to discuss. Electrical work being performed inside the house, getting electrical over to the pump station, rewiring everything, getting the floats working, panels work. I mean, there's so much more to it. But really, this video is really meant to explain to you how do we go about letting go of a septic system and getting your wastewater from a new point A down to a new point Z and getting it all done. So anyways, that's what you got. I hope this video was informative to you. 
please, if you have any questions or any issues with any septic, grease, underground water sewer, or even drain cleanings or septic pump outs or maintenance, don't hesitate. Give us a call. My name is Ricky Salinas. I'm with Freedom Plumbers and Pumpers. Septic and Drain, coming to you from Northern Loudoun County, Virginia. You can reach us at any time, 703-895-4109. You can email any questions, comments, or concerns to scheduling at freedomplumbers.com, or you can even fill out our contact form on our website at www.freedomplumbers.com. Thank you for checking us out. Catch you on the next one.